How are you doing guys? Mitch Scott with Earthworks. We're out here at the Wallman residence, Marshall Landing. What a beautiful house as you can see. This is a perfect spot for a huge water feature, pondless waterfall that we're building right now. What was here when we got here was uh, a bunch of stacked flagstone that a pool company built and never really ran properly, wasn't, wasn't the aquascape way. So we tore that clunker out and we're gonna rebuild something very awesome for these guys. The cool thing about this setup on this house is the way it's angled in this auditorium shape. They're gonna be able to see this from every single room in the house and I'm taking that in consideration on as I'm building these falls. So we don't wanna just have steps with falls. So we're angling a bunch of these so that they can be enjoyed from any aspect in the house. As you can see now, we have, in this stage of the build, we have our basin in, we have two vaults that are gonna run 10,000 gallon an hour pumps in, in each. So we'll have 20,000 gallons an hour ripping roaring through this thing. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, first, what we started, we got our, our two falls that are gonna split off of this rock that are gonna come into the basin. And you can't see now because the liner's there. You'll see later on in the, uh, as the build progresses. Right now we have a couple step down and we're working on this top fall now that's gonna be the main focal point of this whole feature. We got Q on the excavator right now. He's uh, about to backfill what we just built and we're gonna flip this liner back over and continue to build. We got Tim over there on the Bobcat, uh, moving some stone around, doing some logistics stuff for us. Tune back in on the next one. We'll be a little further along. You'll be able to see a little bit more what it's gonna look like. Week two, now you can see it running. Those two 10,000 gallon pumps sure are uh, doing a great job of whipping that water through these, through these falls and these turns. We got Q and uh, Tim, they're working on getting the rest of the basin rocks. We got our pipe coming in right here for an auto flow, so in case it does ever get too low, this runs off for irrigation, off for well, and that'll connect to a float valve, so if it gets too low, that float will open and it'll start filling this thing back up so we don't ever have our uh, pumps running dry. That's a pretty cool feature right there. So what we have left to do, we have, uh, we have five of these four watt color changing LEDs and five pucks that are underneath each one of these falls. It's gonna look really cool lit up. So she'll be able to change colors anywhere from green to blue to purple to red, whatever color she so desires. We got pretty much all the edging tucked. Underneath here, we have two large aqua blocks that are uh, serving as our source of the water. We have those two three inch lines coming in that come up into here. They connect right into those two large aqua blocks, so the water just percolates up. It looks super natural, like she has a spring here feeding this whole thing. We got some greenery gonna be coming into here. Probably put a little bird of paradise right here. Uh, get some blue days and some sedum or some kind of cool little ground cover to put some pop of color into here. All this gravel, we'll be touching all this gravel up, so that'll all get redone. And then I'm gonna uh, bring some brown mulch in and uh, the rest that isn't rock, we'll bring that brown mulch in. It'll tie everything in together for the rest of her property. So if you remember what they had here before, it was an old pond with just the liner, it wasn't rocked, and they had this big stacked slate monstrosity of a fountain that a pool builder built. What we like to do is make it look like you were in the backwoods of the Appalachian Mountains and you stumbled across the stream and waterfall. That's, we wanna take what they make in nature and replicate that in your yard. I really love what Tim did with these two falls up top, but I absolutely love this. I love how that water rushes in, kinda of like Niagara Falls. We use the natural notch of this big boulder here to act as half of our fall, and it's got some really cool action coming off of that. And you got this little guy right here that just looks like it is just a nice little fall right there. You take that rock away and it doesn't become much, but you put that rock there and it looks like there's another little fall there. I, I just, I love that. I like how that splits right there. But yeah, that's, that's my favorite fall right there. 
Yeah, what an amazing project this was from start to finish, what it was and what it's going to turn out to be all said and done. I uh, couldn't be more grateful or more appreciative or any of that for uh, the work that these guys are doing. You got the, the notorious Mike Q running the equipment for us. We got Tim on the shovel. I kind of let him go crazy with that top part. You know, I think he did a great job. He's a good new addition to the pond crew, and we're gonna be building some really cool stuff together here in the future. And shout out to John Cascione. Keep selling them, buddy, and we'll keep building them.